Hey, thanks for tuning in to Press Start TV. We're here with Mark, the brand manager for Tekken 7. Mark, how's it going today? Good, good. Busy day, but uh, excited to uh, talk to Tekken 7. All right. So, uh, so first thing I want to know, man, what are the differences between Tekken 7 and maybe Tekken 6 and Tekken Tag Tournament? We got a long list. I don't know if we got enough time for this, but uh, obviously there's new characters, about eight or nine new characters in the game. A lot of new content, new moves, new combos. Um, there's also new battle mechanics, too. So uh, we have things called Rage Arts, Rage Drives, and Power Questions. They add a new layer and level accessibility for new players. And, uh, you know, the Elephant in the Room, we have Akuma from Street Fighter in the game too. I, I saw, saw that. that. Huge yeah, that reaction. Cool. Um, also, I saw it looked like you guys were paying a lot more attention to story this time and you had the, the action cutscenes and everything. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, we know that uh, kind of single player story mode experience is really important to fans, you mm -hmm. know, and Tekken is a game with the rich story narrative. Uh, you know, it spanned like almost 20 years and it's this whole Mishimi saga that's going to actually conclude the final showdown between Hayachi and Kazuya in the game. Oh, that's awesome. You're probably going to shut me down here, but I just played with uh, my all-time favorite character, Sir Kicks a lot. How wrong? Uh, what happened to his eye? I have no idea. Um, uh, that's just a new character design. They have all uh, different costumes in there, but uh, he's looking pretty sweet. The eye patch, I have to say. He's looking badass for sure. Will, got any questions? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, just one. Really, the the, the game looks amazing. First of all, so you guys should be very very proud. But the um, tell us about the gameplay. I mean, how do you approach changing the gameplay? Do you change the recipe for the gameplay or do you just leave it untouched? What's the thinking in producing a new Tekken game, especially one that has the new elements to it? Yeah, so uh, obviously with the Kuma in there, it's, it's a little crazy, right? A TD fighter in uh, the 3D world. Um, but, you know, classic 1v1 battles return. But, you know, with the Kuma, with the fireball, you know, you're in the 3D space. All you got to do is sidestep and punish, right? right. Um, with these kind of new gameplay and battle, you know, elements, uh, you know, we definitely wanted to give the players new tools, you know, to make the game a little easier to play. So there's super moves, uh, there's kind of character tools that are defensive and offensive depending on the character, and also armor moves now too. So it's a lot of different things that you see in different types of fighting games, but now they're in Tekken 7 to improve that gameplay. Excellent, excellent. With Akuma having projectiles, are some other Tekken characters going to have projectiles now to counteract that, or is that just specific? Oh, some of them have already had uh, projectiles in the past, yeah. so uh, it's nothing new new to Tekken, uh, but it's just that fireball is from Street yeah. Fighter. In Tekken Tag Tournament, I was totally rocking a, a pistol. Just to whip that out all of a sudden on people. <laughs> the, um, and then with eSports, are you guys interested in um, doing larger tournaments on a scale like that with Tekken 7? Oh, yeah, definitely. So, you know, I think uh, the fans in North America are really jealous of uh, Japan and Asia because you have the arcade game out there. Absolutely. So when I started working the project, I was like, we got to get people to play Tekken 7 in the U.S. I bought a ton of arcade boards, bought them over here, and we're actually uh, running a King of the Iron Fist tournament for North America 2016. Uh, it started in March, and we're actually hitting 18 different cities across, you know, across the U.S. Uh, I'm there. Yeah, yeah, even one in Canada too. And we're taking the top placer and actually having a North American Finals event uh, later this year. Uh, but the beauty of it is, it's an absolutely free thing to enter. So free to enter tournament, awesome. but you can actually win money. Yeah. So uh, it's amazing, and it's only opens North American and South American players too. So, you know, no ringers from Japan or Asia are invited here. It's all about the U.S. Excellent. Excellent. And, and real quick with the, the stories and the campaigns, each each character has their own story that progresses through. Mm, uh, I can't really talk about that much right now, but uh, da -da -da. there's a lot of new news and updates coming soon, so just keep, keep your ears out. And what platforms are you coming out on? Ooh, good question. So we are going to be on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and uh, for the first time ever on PC and Steam. Excellent, excellent. And of course, the release date. Early 2017. Well, we're looking forward to it. Um, James, I know we're all excited. Tekken 7 is Oh, I'm stoked. I already texted, I texted my wife, and she was like, I want to play Tekken 7. <laughs> like, uh, she can't wait. Mark, right. thank you so much. Uh, you. Very much appreciate it. It was a pleasure. Fist Keep bump. here on Press yeah. TV. All things Tekken 7. Ow.